टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिजीजेस सो आई टेक द होल क्लास एंड आई हैव डिवाइडेड इट इन थ्री कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डिजीज देन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिजीज इलनेस एंड सिकनेस एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्लास इज आइसबर्ग ऑफ द डिजीज दैट विल टेक इन द लास्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अकॉर्डिंग टू वेबस्टर सी डिफरेंट साइंटिस्ट एंड डब्ल्यू एच ओ गेव डिफरेंट डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डिजीज सो वॉट वेबस्टर डिफाइंड वेबस्टर सेट अ कंडीशन इन विच बॉडी हेल्थ इज इम्पेयर अ डिपार्चर फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ और एनी ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन बॉडी इंटरप्टिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द वाइटल फंक्शन इफ देर इज एनी डेविएशन फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल दैन दैट इज डिजीज देन ऑक्सफर्ड ऑल्सो गेव अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डिजीज दैट इज इट इज अ कंडीशन ऑफ द बॉडी और सम पार्ट ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑफ द बॉडी सी एनी कंडीशन विच अफेक्ट्स द बॉडी और एनी ऑर्गन ऑफ द बॉडी इन विच द फंक्शन आर डिसरप्टेड और डीरेंज दैट इज डिजीज see you know in the from the ecological point of view also if we see ecology that is the disease is concerned with the environment okay so any any mal adjustment of the human organism any mal adjustment it can be of any type any mal adjustment of the human organism to the environment is given on the ecological basis and that is disease according to ecological point of view and the last one but very important that is sociological point of view see disease is considered as a social phenomena how can we say this as we know that if the person is affected of the or as if the person is diseased then he or she might get affected sociologically also okay so disease is considered a social phenomena occurring in all the societies it occurs in all the societies and defined and fought in terms of particular cultural events which are prevalent in the society okay so sociologically it is uh, considered a social phenomena also so how health and diseases are different from each other see what is health if we see the definition of health then health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being not merely absence of disease but disease is opposite of health so what is disease any deviation from normal functioning or state of complete physical or mental well being as we can differentiate from the definitions that they are almost opposite they are mutually exclusive so you have to remember this that health and diseases are mutually exclusive so who did not define disease okay it did not give any definition for disease but there are many criteria which uh, accompanies or which uh, defines the disease see disease has a spectrum what do you mean by spectrum spectrum if we see on a graphical basis on the one end on the one end there will be uh, in apparent cases or they cannot be identified they are not visible they are in apparent okay and the other end might be fatal cases okay so if we see the graph of the uh, disease curve then there on one side there are in apparent cases and on the other side there are fatal cases then what is in between in between lie the mild moderate and severe cases so disease has a spectrum okay and there are many diseases which can be acute acute means suppose diarrhea diarrhea is acute in onset okay sudden in onset and there are many diseases which are insidious in onset like for example rheumatoid arthritis which is insidious in onset now what is the carrier state see carrier state if we take the example of 
uh, if we take the example recent example of covid 19 then there are many there are many cases bahut sare aise cases hote hain which are not visible they are not having any symptoms they are asymptomatic cases but they are the carrier they are the carrier of covid 19 so carrier state is very important part of disease now many things come like same organism ek hi organism hai it may cause more than one clinical manifestation one organism may cause more than one clinical manifestation for example streptococcus okay streptococcus can cause many clinical manifestations on the second hand if we see there are many diseases there uh, there is same disease which can be caused by more than one organism okay same disease for example diarrhea if we take the example of diarrhea then it can be caused by more than one organism like it can be caused by viruses it can be caused by bacteria it can be caused by protozoa so it can be caused by more than one organisms in the same way some diseases have short course some diseases have long duration of course okay and we can finally say what is the outcome of the disease the final outcome of the disease is variable see the final outcome can be in the form of recovery okay recovery ho sakti hai secondly it can be in the form of disability or handicap and the last thing but it can be in the form of death also the final outcome of the disease is variables so these are the criteria which are important for defining the disease which who has given now the major thing which comes in our mind is ki disease sickness illness what is the basic difference between the disease sickness or illness okay so disease means without ease see uneasiness that is not ease without ease the opposite of ease as we all know the opposite of ease is that something is wrong with bodily functions so if there is anything wrong with bodily functions that is a disease and as we all know disease is a physiological because it affects the body as well as psychologic psychosocial dysfunction psychological dysfunction so this is disease then what is illness how can we differentiate disease from illness see illness is individual's perception and behavior in response to the disease koi disease hua us pe kya perception hai us individual ka aur kya behavior hai that is illness okay so as well as the impact of that disease on the psychosocial environment so uh, quoting an example for example uh, there are two person person a and person b okay so person a person b both of them got diabetes mellitus okay person a is living a healthy lifestyle okay he has changed his lifestyle he has adapted a good nutrition diet and person b is always being depressed ki i have got diabetes i have he always crib that i have got diabetes i have got diabetes so this is illness that is it is a subjective state of the person subjective state what does subjective mean subjective means it differentiate from person to person that is as you all know that both person a and person b got diabetes okay but person a's response or person a response to the disease was different and person b response to the disease was different so this is known as illness now what is sickness see sickness refers to the social dysfunction as i told you that disease is a state of uh, which is uh, far away it also includes what does disease include include physical mental as well as social also okay so agar social dysfunction hai that is known as sickness okay which is known as sickness
now the last thing which i will uh, tell you this is a very important part of this presentation this is iceberg of the disease see there are three parts in this iceberg of the disease if we see first of all we'll see the symptomatic disease okay then there are pre symptomatic disease and this is the water line this is the line of demarcation or the water line so what are the symptomatic disease see what symptomatic disease that is what we can see if the disease manifest with symptoms and signs suppose a person is having hypertension okay and uh, he has symptoms he has headache he has uh, palpitations or so he comes to the doctor and tells ki i am having uh, i am having headache he gets the checkup done and we can say okay he is having hypertension okay then what does pre symptomatic disease mean so that means symptomatic means we can see the patient and we can see the signs and symptoms of the patient so if the signs and symptoms are present then we can easily detect the patient okay now what is important is what we cannot see okay who are apparently healthy suppose in many cases of diabetes hypertension or any chronic illness there are many cases who are not visible visible to us they are men there are they are the main targets or they are the main challenge for this preventive medicine so this what we can see are symptomatic diseases but the portion of the symptomatic disease is very low okay the portion of the symptomatic disease is very low and see the portion what physicians does not see symptomatic disease is what physicians can see and this is the hidden part of the iceberg so tip of the iceberg shows the symptomatic disease the hidden portion is the main challenge for the medicine okay and the modern techniques of the medicine this is what physicians does not see okay these are these can be apparently healthy cases these can be pre symptomatic cases these can be carrier states these all with physicians cannot see but this is the main uh thing which we have to get to know okay and what is the bottom line bottom line is very important and many techniques are required to get into this bottom line okay now see what three things they show floating tip as i told you this floating tip this floating tip represents what the physician sees in the community that is the clinical cases submerged portion is the hidden mass which tells the latent in apparent pre symptomatic and undiagnosed cases and carriers in the community and the water line that is the demarcation between the apparent and the in apparent cases okay so this is all we have to know about this to summarize it what are the important questions which can come in exam is first of all you can get a short question on or the short note on the iceberg of the disease and the difference between di disease sickness and illness can be asked in your viva examinations okay thank you so much uh, for this lecture thank you